Some movies should never be remade, but these are top five movie remakes that I want to see. Firstly here, we have The Warriors. I almost can't believe this one myself. I love the original from 1979. But one of the main reasons that I want to see this as a remake is the action. Filled with incredible characters that I don't really want to see replaced. But mainly following the warriors, yeah, as they are hunted by a wide range of gangs in New York. And again, that action. It was pretty decent for the time. But with amazing encounters, with the likes of the baseball theories, it could have been done so much more and better. In a movie that I would love to see redone. Next up here, we have Bed Knobs and Broomsticks. A hidden classic, but if you've seen, you know. I'm certainly not sure on who I would cast as these characters, amazingly played by the likes of Angela Bradbury and David Tomlinson, but I would love to see this with modern day technology. Next here, we have Bugsy Malone. I'd love to know if anybody else has seen this, have you? Because I'd never hear anybody speaking of it. But what a strange and an amazing movie. Cast of children, but voiced by adults when singing. And yeah, it can be a little bit weird, but with amazing hits, like if you want to be a boxer, how can you not love this film? A gangster flick with pie guns instead of Tommy guns. It would be great to see a reimagining of this movie and a new cast for a new generation. And the fourth movie remake is The Terminator. I know, I know. Probably the most shocking pick of these five. And I really have no idea who would, or even if they could, live up to Arnold in the role. But with the absolute garbage of the latest movies, I think a complete redo is a pretty good idea. And if you've seen Terminator 2 Judgment Day, you'll know of the future warfare that we'll get a little glimpse of. I say, let's focus on that this time around. And lastly here, we have The Crow. A tragic movie following the loss of Brandon Lee. But for anybody who has seen it, I don't think anybody can dislike this. An amazing Halloween watch happening on Halloween night. But just a general watch with Brandon Lee really hitting his stride as Eric Draven after being murdered as well as his fiance and coming back to life, going on a revenge mission, making those responsible pay. It's all very gothic and dark, but yet so beautiful. In a movie that I more certainly would like to see a remake. Apparently Jason Moore was supposed to be in a remake of this. I don't know. I can say it, but I would like to see someone else. Who? Well, why not let me know who you would like to see in this and any of these five remakes down in the comments. And why not check out this video for some more entertaining movie watches.